I think what's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage. Oh, oh, big left hand. Oh, he oh, wow. wow. Here's the wow. Out of nowhere. Habib Nurmagomedov is creating an army and taking the UFC by storm. One of those soldiers is lightweight contender and rising star Islam Makashev. Makashev got his start as a Sambo fighter in Russia, where he trained alongside UFC legend Habib Nurmagomedov. After an impressive Sambo career and dominating M1 Global, Makashev finally got signed by the UFC. Makashev made his UFC debut at UFC 187, where he faced Leo Kuntz. Well. Yep. Oh, he might have hurt him there, I Mike. think he did. He kind of... Kind of went down awkwardly, bit. didn't he? Look at this. Right to full back control. More opportunities for attacks are open, but less control. Now, see what we see here. He's got the body triangle, yep. and he's on top, which is much. Oh, it's underneath the chin. Trying to Leo's lock it down right trouble. here. Looking to finish this fight. It's over. It's over. Leo's out. It is all over. Beautiful job by Makachev. Before the end of the second round, Makachev secured his first UFC victory with a submission. Next up, Makashev went against Adriano Martins at UFC 192, but this time the tables turned. Oh! Big shot by Martins! It is all over! Whoa! Before the end of the first round, Martins gave Makashev his first ever professional loss. But soon, Makashev bounced back and created a huge winning streak. At UFC Fight Night, Makachev got in the octagon with Chris Wade and won via unanimous decision. To prevent Makachev from getting under the chin, but it looks like these two lightweights will go the distance. Right. And there's the final horn. At UFC 208, Makachev fought Nick Lentz and once again came out with a win by the judges' decision. Finally, Makachev faced Gleason Tebow at UFC 220 and won the fight with a knockout 57 seconds into the first round. I think it's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage. Oh, oh, big left hand. Oh, he wow. wow. Here's Rob wow. Out of nowhere, I was about to say, it's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage when it comes to striking. Makashev was really starting to make a name for himself and came back to fight KJ and Johnson at UFC on Fox. The reason, the reason Cajun's so much on the side of the octagon is because Islam's just cutting them off. Now, this is where he's good at, right? Securing the double leg, and now this guy goes to work. He'll trap his feet. There you see it. Khabib does that. They trap your feet with their legs so that you can't build back up to your knees. Well, Johnson was certainly expected that he'd get a heavy dose of this tonight. Makashev trying to set up a submission here, DC. Yep, and you know, these guys do combat sambo their entire lives, you know? So if you present an opportunity to get a sub, it's over. He'll go get it. There it is. He's got the arm. And there's the tap. Another big finish for Islam. Wow. You gotta be careful there. Right away in the first round, Makashev got Johnson to the ground and secured a victory via armbar submission. The first fight of the night award Makashev received was at UFC Fight Night when he faced Armand Sarukian. His full fight winning streak is impressive. Five is definitely more impressive, and he'll start making some ambitious call outs. Oh, oh lovely. Slip straight to Mounds. Sarukian slowed down right. for sure. And I think Marcus Chev senses that, gets a yeah. big takedown. See, has, has Sarukin already thrown the kitchen sink at this point? What look, is... look at that leg control, beautiful binding of the legs there. This fight went all the way to decision and showed off how entertaining wrestling could be to watch. Makashev scored another victory against Davi Hamos before moving on to fight Drew Dober at UFC 259. Utilizing an arm triangle choke, Makashev forced Dober to tap in the third round. We've seen a change in strategy for Dober, trying to get offensive here off of his back. Look at the shoulder pressure, though. Look at Dober's face. Oh, he got oh, it! Oh, Makashev submits wow. Drew Dober! Makashev continued fighting bigger names and got in the octagon with Tiago Moises at UFC on ESPN. Just keep going for it. Keep pounding him like that, and opportunities will present themselves. Oh, is he under the neck? He's going for something. I can't, I can't see. He's got oh. it. Wow! How about it? In the fourth round, Makashev scored a rear naked choke and won the fight by submission. Finally, Makashev took on another UFC favorite when he faced Dan Hooker at UFC 267. 
You don't know that they're coming. He doesn't step in. He just kind of waits and counters beautifully with them. But Islam has some striking as well. If he can establish some good boxing. Oh, there it is. Beautiful little hook right into the double leg takedown. Now he's got Dan Hooker on his back. Dan in trouble. Dan's always stepping up the head here. Oh, Dan's got his hands locked. Oh, it's in trouble. Oh, my goodness. Islam Makashev for Mitch Dan Hooker in round one. In the first round, Makashev got a Kimura on Hooker and forced him to tap. This set the stage for Makashev's upcoming fight against fan-favorite fighter Benil Dariush. Dariush is a hugely entertaining striker, but Makashev just keeps getting better. We can't wait to see who gets their hand raised by the end. Who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.